Hello guys, this is Christoph with Click. Today I would like to show you my latest extension called Drill to Detail and that's exactly what it does. So how many times have you been working on a dashboard and thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if I clicked on somewhere and instead of making a selection on that value, couldn't I just get an object that shows me some details or go to the next sheet or do something, right? Download my extension from GitHub and install it and then pull the extension somewhere on a free space on your sheet. And it will first tell you to add a watchdog. So what is a watchdog? You have to understand that this extension is not working in combination with a particular visualization. It instead monitors the selection model of the application. So if you want that bar chart, for example, to get a trigger, you would just have to add the field, the main dimension of that bar chart, to the watchdog list and in this case it's the company name and then it will fire an action and the default is just to open the next sheet oh well, let's see what's going to happen so if i clicked on it it just well goes to next sheet i can go back to the previous sheet and if you for some time do not like this behavior because you just want to make the standard selection here is a checkbox and then you can go ahead as you used to work with the objects before right there are some more actions that you can use for example you can go to a specific sheet and put the sheet id here so in case you have 30 sheets here you can put a specific sheet there are some nice options that allow you to open a specific object so if I want this table object, for example, to be opened instead of the full worksheet, there is uh, the option to open the new object in a new window and you paste the object ID, go back, try the selection, and it will now construct a so-called single URL and open that particular object for you and you can continue to work. And my favorite operation or trigger here definitely is to open the object in the same window and this is a bit experimental because i'm creating as you can see now i'm creating an overlay object on top of the clicksense client so i'm changing the dom model for those who know what javascript is uh, and this allows me to open the object without leaving the worksheet and I consider this very powerful. You do not even need to have an object to be shown. You can ask the extension to create one for you. And let me say uh, on close, I want to undo my last selection. I want to show a table and out of my data tables, show me all the fields out of the category table, but ignore the fields called something ending with ID or starting with a percentage sign and uh, let me add the products fields as well. So what it does here in this text box, it gives me a JSON array of field names. And let me say, I don't need this picture field, for example. So you can still go ahead and edit this one. And let me add also more uh, watchdogs here. I want to also a, a drill action on the customer country. When I click it, and also on the customer city. But this time I would say the maximum selections can be less or equal to five instead of the default of one. Let me show you in a second what this means. So now I will get a new object as soon as I make a selection on country, city or company name. I have set the customer city to fire when I make less than five selections. So I can go ahead and make a lasso select or range select. And because I have only five cities in focus now, this is already granular enough to trigger the defined action for drill to detail. The same behavior would not happen if I selected on the countries, because here I said it must be one country to fire a trigger so you can play a little with all those settings and you can also under appearance change the label and put it uh, right aligned if you wanted to so it's very 
small and doesn't take a lot of real estate on your screen, but it's very powerful and I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoyed this sort of videos, I'm happy if you become my follower and follow also my LinkedIn posts. See you the next time.